Hello, my name is Barbie from Genie's Designs and I'm getting ready to make a couple casserole caddies. There is no pattern to this. I'm gonna give you the measurements as I go along. Um, I don't even remember where I got this information, but I've tweaked it over the years to create my own pattern. Uh, but there really isn't a pattern. I'm not going to release a pattern. This is going to be free information for you. So these are casserole caddies. They hold uh, casseroles 9 to 13, square casseroles, round casseroles, um, and a variety of cold or hot, actually. So these two, uh, I am making uh, out of some beachy star fat star uh, fish and coral fabric. So this is a coral and this is a large starfish pattern. And all I have in here is a, a layer of batting, just your average uh, cotton batting, and then a layer of thermoflex. I do sell this on my website at geniesfabrics.com backslash Etsy. So I do sell that, um, but it keeps things cold and hot. So um, these are two pieces, they're square. Uh, sometimes, uh, depending on uh, the fabric I have, I'll make them a little bit more oblong. These actually are 23 by 25 inches. And then I put a piece of, um, just a four inch piece of fabric and I'll cut two uh, connectors out of this, which I'll attach D-rings to. So you'll see, but there's nothing in here. Um, this is actually uh, home deck fabric. If I was using a cotton quilting, I would probably put a, a one inch strip of um, either fleece or Decavillite or something like that, some kind of stabilizer. But this is a uh, home deck cotton twill so it'll be strong because I'm doing four layers I you know four inches folded in and that kind of thing so that's what I'm going to do the first thing I'm going to do is um, sew this all the way around leaving about an eight to ten inch opening so I can turn it and then I will do just uh, some real basic uh, quilting on top Probably just uh, one, two, three, probably four, four to eight. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it because it varies every time. Uh, four to eight rows of stitching just to quilt it and keep all the layers together. That's all it is. All right, so I will uh, be doing one and then um, you'll. I'll finish one and then you'll see what it looks like. So this one is kind of a teal aqua. This one is navy starfish. Isn't it pretty? It's going to be so gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to sew that all the way around, leaving that 10-inch opening, probably 8 to 10, uh, and I'm just using a half-inch seam allowance. So I will uh, turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Thanks for joining. Be sure to click like and subscribe. All right, like I said, a half-inch seam allowance. One of those situations where I'm using pins. I don't like to. I don't like to use pins anymore because uh, I inevitably stick myself. And even though there are four layers here, you could do this on a domestic machine. So half inch all the way around, 
and I'm using a four stitch line. If you are using, I'm going to find out where my hole is going to be. If you are using cotton, cotton quilting, okay, um, I would wash those fabrics first. This fabric uh, washes well, but it really doesn't shrink. So I'm not, I didn't worry too much about washing this. Uh, ahead of time. All right, let me make sure I got all my pins out. And then I will clip all my corners just so that when I turn it, I get some nice corners. I will not trim that seam allowance. And just so you're aware, Thermoflex fabric is, you cannot put it in the microwave. It keeps things hot or cold, but it is not microwavable. So there I left that opening and I'm just gonna pull everything through that hole. Cotton batting really is not microwavable either. So this is not for microwave purposes. And I put that, I make that pretty clear on when I sell things with this stuff in it. I don't know, I've never tried it. I don't know what it would do. It, it could ruin your microwave. Wouldn't be worth the, the chance for me to try it. All right, then just poke out all your corners. And then I will take this over to the ironing board and give it a good press before I do any top stitching. And I'll show you how I'm going to top stitch and how I get that marked before I leave here and go do the ironing. I hope everyone's having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. Oh, goodness. I sell actually quite a few of these. And they're great for gifts as well. All right, so there you have it. Isn't that gorgeous fabric? Just starfish and then the coral on the back. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sew up my hole here. I'm gonna sew all the way around at a quarter inch seam allowance. And then I am gonna sew corner to corner, corner to corner, and then I'm gonna sew across, and I'll mark that middle, and I'm gonna sew down the middle. So it's top stitching, so if you wanna use a coordinating fabric, this is a cream fabric that goes really well with this, and it'll be very pretty on the front here. All right, so I'm gonna go do that, and I'll be right back.
Okay. So I did four rows of stitches. I did two to divide it in half evenly, and then I did one corner to corner here and one corner to corner there. So that's all that is. But it really makes, it keeps, number one, it keeps the fabrics together on the inside, and it gives it just a nice little decorative top stitching. Now, normally I would have taken this over to my big table to mark the uh, lines, but I wanted you to be able to see it, so that's why I did it that way. All right, so now we're gonna turn it over, and when we get our um, connectors ready, we are going to, well, let me just get the connectors ready and then I'll show you. So this is done for now. Now we are going to, um, and I'm gonna take this over to my uh, iron and just fold it in place. I am gonna fold the ends in And actually, yeah, I'm going to fold the ends in. Then I'm going to fold it into the center, into the center, and then fold it again. Just like that. Just like we do any other strap. Except this is uh, cotton with nothing in it because it's a, a home deck heavyweight fabric. If you are doing cotton quilting, you definitely want to put a piece of fleece or Decaville light in there. So let me go get this ready. All right, what did I cut this at? That's terrible. I just did it and I didn't tell you. Okay, I cut this at 28. And then I folded each end in half an inch at least. And then I folded, I, I put a, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but yeah, I divided the four inches into two. And then I folded it and, um, ironed it. There's no double-sided tape here. I'm going to change my stitch length back to a four. And now I'm just uh, top stitching just like any other handle. I'm doing the open end first. And then I'll do the other side, other long side. Okay, so that's done. All right, I'm just gonna burn some ends here. Okay, so that is done. And then I did, and I can't remember what I did. This is just awful. Uh, yeah, I did six inches, two six inch strips. Again, I folded the ends in half, or uh, down by half an inch. I uh, measured half to half, and then I'm just folding them also uh, in together. Just like a just like a mini little strap holder, a handle connector, same, same principle. Is this what this is actually gonna be? And then we're ready to put our D-rings on and connect that to the casserole carrier. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I normally do put uh, do these all in one piece, but because I don't want any, uh, this is cotton and I don't want any raw edges showing. I had to do them in two pieces. This is really a pretty quick sew as well. And they make really great gifts. Especially for, you know, like holiday season or any time of the year when you take casseroles. I mean, there for a while we weren't taking casseroles anywhere. We weren't going and eating together, but now that's all resumed. And it's just a little more unique than, um, you know, you can pick your own fabrics. It's unique. You can, uh, won't have anything like anybody else has. D-ring connectors out. Let me see what I did with them. And I just, this is one inch. It ends up being one inch. So I just got uh, one inch D-rings out. Yep. Okay. So all we do is and I, there's always a good side and a bad side to anything you make. So I think that's going to be my good side on the other side. So then what I do is I pull it down and I just estimate this, but I pull it down maybe half. Just like that. So there's the front side that I'll stitch on and here's the underside. So I will put a piece of, I don't have any more. I used all my double-sided tape, but I have more. It's just in the closet. So until I get that, I'll just put some here. This is fine too, really. Keep all the double-sided tape out of my seam allowance as much as possible. And then you can do this any way you want as far as how much you pull down. So that's how, what I did. I probably pulled down a good inch and a half and then I've got about three quarters to an inch there. But that's what it looks like on the good side. And then I am gonna put another piece on the wrong side so that when I put it on my casserole carrier, um, it'll stick until I get it sewed. So I'm sure if you're an experienced sewist, you've probably made something like this before. So I just get them next to each other so they're about the same. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, good enough. Let me get uh, my other piece. I left it over at the iron. So I'll get that and get these positioned and then we'll come back and we'll sew it all together. All right, so there is my outer piece. It's kind of hard to see the angle, but it's gorgeous. And then on these opposite ends, you want to affix your D-rings and we're gonna sew 
a little square all the way around that and I'll probably crisscross just to give it a little more strength. But those go on opposite ends. And then for this longer piece, all I did was put it on the other opposite ends, the other opposite corners, and I folded it down by about a half an inch and I'm putting it there. It will not reach. It's not intended to reach. Let me do the right side here. It is meant to be shorter. And when we get it all together, that'll make complete sense to you. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sew those and then I'll show you how it works. So this is, this can be pretty thick here, especially if you're using um, home deck fabric. If you're using cotton quilting, co cotton quilting, it's not. Let me get as close to that D ring as I can, and then I'm gonna come across. And then I'm gonna come back down. Uh, piece out here. That's kind of like a, a, a hump jumper. I'm going to try and go down to that one spot where I started and then I'm going to crisscross. I'm going to go up. again and then I'm gonna crisscross it down it should be okay this time yeah Now, if you do not want that showing, on your crisscross showing on this good side, then use a, a coordinating fabric. But then that's all that is. That's all that is. So I'm gonna do the other one, and uh, I'll do this side with you real quick, and then I'll finish the other two. This is just gonna be a smaller box. That's all that is. A lot of moving around of your fabric, which is fine. And you know you want to you want these to be pretty secure because they're probably going to be carrying some heavy casserole dishes and uh, you know all kinds of things. So there's that one. That's the this is the longer handle. And oh my goodness, I'm stuff flying everywhere. And then this is the short handle connector. So I'm going to fast forward those other two, and then I'll get a grab a casserole dish, and we'll show you how it works.
All right, we're done. So this is a nine inch round, and then it's 12 from here to here. So you just place it in the middle. You bring up one side, fold your long handle, I'm not sure you can see me, in, bring up the other side, fold that into your D-ring, and then you just pull it all the way up. And there you have it. It's all encased in there. It'll stay warm or cold. That's a nine, nine to 12 inch, depending on which side it is. So that's that. And that's all there is to it, honestly. And then this is a little, I don't have a lid for this. I couldn't find one of my large lid casseroles, but this is 14 by nine. Same thing. Put it in there. Make sure the lid is tight. Pull that up. And there you go. So it fits, and, and you can, uh, I mean, these will stay closed once you have it on there good. Since I don't have a lid, it's kind of weird. But it fits a huge casserole. And it'll, like I said, it'll keep it warm or cold. And that's all there is to that. <clears throat> Probably cutting it out, cutting the four pieces of fabric, uh, sewing that together, quilt, quilting it, adding your handle connectors and then your handle. I'd say 45 minutes to an hour. So it's a, it's a pretty quick sew. So that's a casserole carrier. Um, again, if I was using quilting cotton, I would uh, wash it first so it shrinks. These, this is a home deck fabric and it doesn't shrink much as long as uh, the instructions I give are followed as far as washing it in cold water. So there you go. So I'm gonna make the other one for my customer and then I'll get these shipped off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be sure and like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.